Hold some of us down. So this is for the fellas. The guys, you know, it's, it's funny Jerry brought that topic up because it's a topic we should all think of. <laughs> if you ever get coerced, intimidated into, or a judge orders you into couples or marriage counseling, fellas, don't do it. It's a trick. Don't do it. It's a trick. You've seen the TV shows when the cops want the guy to take a lie detector? Guy's fucked. You say, I'm not doing it. He's lying. He takes it and fails. He's lying. He passes. They go in the other room and goes, he's a good fucking liar. He believes his own shit. That's what that counseling stuff is. And guys, don't let your ego get in the way. Because you're men. You're like, I got this. I can handle it. I'm going to stick and move. I'm going to do a little defense. I got a couple things going on. It's not like that, guys. It's not that kind of game. It's a psychological game, and you can't win it. And plus, it, they don't keep score, because that's what you want as a dude. Like, at the end of the session, you want to go, and I do. And they're like, well, Bob, you did pretty good. You got 21 points. Sherry also got 21 points. We took away seven because she fucked all of your friends. We added one point back in because she said she didn't like it. So you win 21-15. Now, now, that's not what's going to happen. The reason I know that's not what is going to happen because that's what happened to me. So here's what happens. Guys, you, your wife, we need can't, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. You do absolutely nothing. They pick the counselor. They pick a woman. Guaranteed 100% they pick a woman. You're going to lose your home court advantage. You don't have it. It's over. It's two of them against you, and they trick you. Here's what happened to me. Halfway through the thing, our doctor, Dr. Ball Crusher, I said, Bob, let me ask you a question. Uh, off topic here, I'd like you to describe, you're in an idyllic scenario, a, you know, an idyllic situation, a beautiful place, a, a place where you're comfortable, where you want to be, anywhere in the world, name it. And I'm like, oh, geez, well, it's, you know, it's going to have sand, maybe a bonfire. I'll have my fishing pole, big old drink in my hand. And she goes, whoa, 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 Bob, you are in the most beautiful place in the world and you need a drink, and your wife's not there. And I was like, God damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. I go, we're here because of booze and fishing. I'm not taking her. So I lost that one. I uh, I've lost like 14, so if you guys are rooting for me, I'm due. Maybe next week, you know what I mean? But imagine that same thing if the counselor was a dude. You know, he goes, hey, imagine you've got an ideal situation, blah, 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 and I go, well, you know, I'm fishing, and I've got a drink in my hand. He goes, whoa, 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 Bob, whoa. Where are we fishing? We drink a beer? You strike for fishing? Like, it'd be, just be a whole different situation. And he'd tell your wife at the end, miss, leave him alone. You know, this guy's an all right guy. He just wants to go fishing out a couple drinks. Leave him alone. But it doesn't really work that way. The problem is the questions part. Women really ask a lot of questions. They ask a lot of questions like if your girl says i'm going out you go bye you say it i'm going out she wants to know where you're going where you're going to be who's going to be there where you're coming home how much it costs make sure you eat something on guys don't do that one of your buddies calls you like they see you got to work on your relationship i've got three or four friends i've been friends with 30 plus years have not worked on it one bit like not even a teeny bit you know, your buddy calls, you might have one question. He goes, I got fired. You know what happened? Yeah, fuck them. Now I hate them too. Let's go out for a drink. Your buddy might call and go, I need a gun. You might have one question. Pistol, shotgun. Next week he calls and goes, I got the gun. Now you got to take me to Pittsburgh. You still might only have one question. Who's paying for gas? I don't want to. But yeah, guys, it is tricky. It is tricky. Don't fall for that like I did. Thanks, guys.